Um, hello, what is up YouTube? Um, Steve here for a new video. Um, this one I had to really uh, think about. Um, I, I actually recorded this video uh, a few days ago. Um, and it just wasn't really... I, I didn't like the way it came out at all. Uh, I don't like the direction it was going in because these these videos I, I've said it a million times these videos have no script really these videos are really me just being myself and just seeing what you know his fruit styling it as the kids may may say these days I don't know but the topic of this video is going to be who would want me and it's something that I think about all the time and a lot of different situations, but the reason why I'm re-recording this video, it probably doesn't matter to you as the viewer, but I, I in a selfish way, I need to get this off my chest. I just, and I, I ended up just stopping the video at, at a certain point and just saying, you know, I'm not going with this direction because it, it felt very cynical. I may have said some things that sounded a little dickish or a little like an, you know, I, you know, I, I just didn't like the way the video was coming off. I didn't like the way I was coming off in the video. Very cynical, very uh, dickish, very, um, not, not even angry, just dickish. You know, and I may have been saying some things that I probably shouldn't do, I shouldn't be saying because I don't want these videos to put. I don't want these. Vi I, I, it's not that I want to do this topic out of fear. You know, I feared more for whatever repercussion, not even for me, whatever repercussions there would be for me. I just didn't want to put anyone who I refer to in these videos in a negative way. I don't want to put them, I don't want to make them seem like they're negative people or whatever. That that should never be the focal point of these videos. You know, you, you and, ch and chances are I may have done that in a few videos, which I'm not happy about, but... I'm human, I guess. And I know that's not a good excuse, but but uh, you know, I, I I just I feared more for the people around me. I I didn't want to cast them in a negative light. I didn't think the video was helping anybody, and that was the main reason why I had to rethink this whole topic to a, to, a, to a certain extreme. And you know, it just kind of came to me a few minutes ago. You know, that oh, this is where I could spin it. You know, without going into anything too crazy or whatever. You know, and so let's go on with the video. Uh, uh, okay, so talked about this quite a lot in the series. I think it's one of the recurring things I talk about. Um, well, either burp, and and which I will probably do at some point in the video. Like I don't know if it's a nervous thing or whatever, but. There's that. Uh, that's one of the things I do in every fucking video. And the other thing I do in every fucking video is I have to. I say like, I just don't like the way I look. It's a body image thing, I think. I, I it has to be. It has to be. Um, and people tell me all the time. I'm not trying to sound like uh, like I'm gloating, you know, when I say this, because I'm really not trying to do that. But people, if I say something like that, people will usually reassure me. Well you know, you're good looking, or you're, you know, or you have this, this, and this going for you, or, you know, whatever the case may be, right? But, I don't feel it. That's something that I learned, really, when I was in therapy, that, you know, you could tell me, you could tell, and that's, this is something I'll talk about throughout the video, but you could tell me I'm good looking, or that I have this going for me, or that, that going for me, but, but if I, if you don't feel it, it's a fleeting thing. It's just not going to go anywhere. One or out the other. So, why am I bringing this up? Well, I've talked pretty openly about this too in these videos. I'm 25 years old. Okay. And where I am, people are getting married. I'm not going to lie to you, people. Or they're at least initiating relationships. And that's great too. I, I'm happy for everybody. It's just, I really am. And I really mean that. It's just. I fear for myself. I fear that certain things may not happen for me, and or may never happen because they never have. That's 
that's another thing I've been kind of open about in these videos. I, I am there's there's a lot of stuff I have never done um, in terms of a relationship, in terms of anything, uh, in that regard, really. Um, I'm worried that it's going to be a recurring thing throughout my life, and maybe that won't be a bad thing. It would just be something fate had in store for me, or it didn't have in store for me in this case. But you know, but I would like to experience certain things in this lifetime. I would like to not be fucking alone in this fucking lifetime. And here's th and the crazy thing is that. You know, I. This is really what I want to talk about. I want to talk about things like this in these videos too, because these are things that affect me. And I don't think I'm alone on a lot of the stuff I talk about. You know, I, I hope I'm not anyway. I hope this is not just. This is reached. You know, this is just. You know, a, a me thing. Because that was another reason why I re-recorded this video. Because it felt very, just me specific to me. But so I'm trying to rethink it, but. The best way I could, I think I could do that, is uh, by tying it into body image, and because that's really what this is about, I think. At least I think. Um, I'm not a psychologist, but if I had to really think inside myself, this is a fucking body image thing. Um, and what do I mean by that? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think there's any shame in me admitting this, especially not at this stage. You know. 20, I'm 25 years old, and I don't think there's any shame in me admitting this at this point. We all go through certain stages of our lives and shit, but... But I've had crushes, I'm not gonna lie to you, as far back as I can remember, but... Which isn't that far, but... But, uh, I... Um, junior high, junior high definitely I did, I... I don't think that's really important in this scenario, mostly because it was so long ago to the point where I don't remember that, but, and, I don't remember that too well, I, I repressed a lot of memories from that era, but, high school, college, maybe even, maybe, maybe a little before then too, I remember, I don't, I don't know, but, but, I want to talk about those eras specifically, and, just to be clear, you know, I, I don't know who's, who, who knows me personally, and who's watching this. I'm not gonna name any names. I don't think that would be right, you know. Because there's, there's really nothing. There's nothing to say, really. You know, it's I'm not gonna name names. Even if, even if you know me personally, I'm not gonna name names to you guys because I, I don't wanna. I, 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 I think that would do more harm than good at this stage. But, but I've had crushes. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. And it's a normal thing. We all go. Through stuff like that. So I don't think there's any shame in admitting that. I'm, you know, I'm not asexual. You know, which which is fine too if you are. You know, you don't feel attracted to anybody. That's it's, it, that that that's your thing, and that's fine. But but if um, unless you're asexual, you feel something for somebody sometimes. You you know you 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 feel attracted to somebody sometimes, and there's nothing wrong with that. But here's the thing with me. I've talked uh, about me. Me having a uh, Asperger's throughout these videos, and why do I bring that up? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, and I, I, I don't know if this is saying too much. I hope it's not. Then again, I don't think anyone who knows me personally is still watching these, so maybe that's fine. I don't fucking know, but, but, but if no one, if no one knows me per, if you know me personally and you're watching this, that's fine. Just you know. I I know I'm stammering because I, I'm like I don't want to say anything that's gonna put me in in a bad situation or anybody in a bad situation. But this is more specific to me than any, than anything anyway. This is more of a me thing, and I don't think I'm alone on this. So hopefully, me saying this will help somebody. But yeah, I mean, if I've liked a girl in the past, you know, it's. It was usually, I think, I think often she knew in most situations. And I think usually she knew because you could. People aren't as stupid as you think. They could tell these things, right? You know, I, I, maybe, 
I can't. That's that, that's really why I brought up Asperger's a few seconds ago because I don't know sometimes if people feel if if the opposite sex or you know feels something for me. If I like a girl, does she like me back? I may not know that. That may not be easy for me to figure out ever. Well, that's 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 difficult for me to admit because it's. So that stops me. It shouldn't, because it's like, you know, it's like whatever, but even if the other person is not always attracted to you, you know, you, that doesn't necessarily mean, that doesn't necessarily mean you'll get turned down. I know that. But that's, that, that's a part of it. That stops me. That, that gets me thinking, you know what, I, I don't know if, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if this girl feels the same way. So that stops me. Um, that stops me. Um, but the other thing that stops me, and it's, I, I clam up because it's like, who want me? And this is a, this is the theme of the video. This is really what gets me thinking in my head, because I don't feel confident in myself, um, in my appearance, um, or what I have to offer anybody, even as a friend. I, I don't know what I have to offer sometimes. So, I climb up in a lot of those situations. Because I tell myself, you know, you, you, you know, you're, you know you're, you're this and you're that and you're not, look at you, look at her, you know, and I think these things. And then, there's more to it than how I'm putting it, but you get the gist of it, I guess, that, you know, the, the way I feel about myself, especially my parents, stops me. That's difficult to admit. That's that's hard for me to say. It's not even something the other person's doing. Usually, it's not. It's I. I don't. It's not. It's nobody's fault. If anything, well, if anything, it's my fault. I'm the boy. I should uh, as the male. It's it should be my place to face my fears or find or not climb up and do something and all that shit. But. This is another thing. When, when you have Asperger's Syndrome, and this is something I think I've talked about before, it's difficult, because you're not good in a lot of social situations at all. Let alone something that's really out of the fucking ordinary. Um, I'm afraid of... even even. I mean, I could always get advice and shit. I always look shit like this up as well, but... Uh, the, the, the Google's your friend, I guess, in this regard. If you're like me, but I don't know. That's I'd be worried that I it wouldn't come off very natural. I'd be worried I'd, I'd fuck up. I'd be worried that I wouldn't do good in that kind of situation because I'm socially challenged. That's a fear I have. And I tell myself sometimes, well, if it's if it's the right girl and whatever, she won't mind if you aren't graceful in this stuff, but. But the same token, uh, first first impressions do matter. Stuff like you know, if you're not presenting yourself in a very good way, or you don't know what the fuck you're doing, that's that's, that's gonna be embarrassing, and that could turn into rejection, which is okay too. You know, it's always okay to get a no. You know, you just move on to somebody else, and that's it. But there's no need to push things, but. But these are fears I have. They, they, these are things I think to myself. You know, that's left me in a very vulnerable state. I can't even do anything right now because I, I'm, I'm trying to get a job. I'm trying to get something that I think will actually be good for me and that I'll be hopefully happy with, and all of the above. Once I have the job I want, then I can think about what I'm going to do in these situations, but one thing that, but the advice that I want to pass on, because you may be going through something similar, you probably aren't going, you may not be going through the same thing as me and the stuff I'm talking about, I hope this isn't too specific to me, but what I can tell you though, because this has helped me, okay. even, it, it's helped me a little bit, not a lot, but it's progress. Okay. 
when I was in therapy, because I was afraid. Of course, there's the burp. Sorry, guys. Um, no, before I before I say anything else, when I was younger, I hated taking any kind of pictures of myself or selfies, as they're now called, I guess. But I hated that, and I hated posting pictures of myself on the internet, on social media, and stuff because I was convinced uh, people are gonna, I'm gonna, I don't like the way I look. Oh, people are gonna think I'm ugly. People are gonna think I'm this. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get bad reactions. You know, from people. But, but I, I, this was something I heard quite often in therapy. Why don't you take a picture of yourself? And put it on, and put it out there. You know, selfies as they're called. Why don't you? Why, why, you know, why don't you post some pictures of yourself on social media and see what happens? And that boosted my confidence a little bit. And you know, made me feel a little bit better to see. Oh, people actually like this picture. You know, or have a, without saying anything too crazy. You know, I do notice that there's a, you know, a few of my friends who will always like my pictures, and that's fine. It was like a little group, but that's fine, but that tells me something, you know, it tells me that maybe, maybe there is something to what people are telling me. I don't think I'm Prince Charming, I, I don't think I'm hot, I don't think any of that, but, but I still look at this video, I think, and I don't like the way I look, but I feel a little bit better about myself in some way. I, I'm learning that this is just in my head and that... Slowly, I'm learning that this is just in my head, and that not everyone may find me attractive, but some people may. And as long as I, as long as one person, as long as one girl does, she's attracted to me, and vice versa, and eventually we're happy. That's that's what matters, right? Because you know, I'm not a Mormon. All you need is one girl, right? I'm not a Mormon, but which is there's nothing wrong with that, you know. I'm just using that as an example that, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to marry multiple people in this lifetime. Um, at least I hope not. I don't want to be that guy who gets divorced all the fucking time, but, which is fine, okay, too. It's okay, too. But I, I don't want to make sure, I, I, I don't know, I'm, I may have to edit this video. <laughs> but, uh, the point that I'm trying to make, uh, hopefully I didn't say anything to offensive, but the point that I'm trying to make is, you know, it's, you know, if you're struggling with your self-esteem, if you're struggling with with these feelings of yourself, if you if you have similar feelings, know that, just, just try certain things, you know, try to do something that's going to boost your confidence, you know, try to do something that may put you in a vulnerable state, but may be rewarding. Um, and I don't know what more to say for this video uh, but that's my video I guess I, I don't know what more to say I don't want to say anyth I don't know if I want to say too much else because then I'm worried about this video going into some strange directions but, but I think I could leave it at this I've been talking for about 18 minutes so that's my video I don't know if this is a good video or not. I hope it is. I hope you got something out of this video by me sharing this story with you guys. You know. But, but I, I hope, if you're going through the same thing, just know that I hope both of us will, will, will be okay. And, you know, we'll both find somebody and we'll both, it'll just work itself out, you know. That's what I hope for. If, if you're going through something similar. Okay. So that's my video. Talk to you guys very soon. Hopefully. Hopefully I could come up with something else for this week. You know, and I hope this video doesn't put anyone... Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to upload the fucking thing. So that's my video. Take care, guys. Be good. Have fun. You know, it's a nice day where I am. So if, if, if it's a nice day where you are, have fun. Enjoy the day. You know, do something good for yourself. Right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.